Let's do a problem on finding a centroid. Here's a setup. Find the centroid of the region bounded by a parabola, y equals 4 minus x squared, and a horizontal line, y equals 2. Start by sketching the region. The blue curve is the parabola opening down, y equals 4 minus x squared. The dark blue curve is the horizontal line, y equals 2. Those two curves intersect and define a region, here shaded in green. Let's find where those two curves intersect. To do so, we can set up an equation. On the right-hand side, we can use the function giving the parabola. On the left-hand side, we can use the constant function giving the horizontal line. This is then an equation in x. We solve, we find x must be plus or minus rad 2. Nice. Now, to find the centroid means coming up with the coordinates x bar and y bar. x bar is the average x value for the points in the region shaded in green. Half of the green region is to the left of the y-axis and half is to the right of the y-axis. So that by symmetry on average, x's have a value of x bar 0. Put that to the side. That was easy. To find the average y value, y bar, we're going to have to use this formula. Let's start by looking at the integrand. It is one half of a difference of squares. We're going to want to square a big y value and square a small y value. For x's taken between negative rad 2 and positive rad 2, any x, find all the points in the shaded region with that x value, that's denoted by this vertical line segment, and then put a green dot on the bottom and the top. Well, the top green dot is going to have a larger y value, so we go with y big there. And the green dot on the bottom has a smaller y value, so that's y small. But the green dot on the top is coming from the parabola, and the green dot on the bottom is coming from the horizontal line. So use the functions which correspond with those graphs. 4 minus x squared for y big, and constant 2 for y small. Nice. Now, we're using a formula. Make sure that you're using the formula correctly. How can you possibly make a mistake? Where are you placing the power to? You want to square each y quantity and then take their difference, not the other way around. Good. Moving on. Let's next look at the bounds. We talked about that. That x values need to come from negative rad 2 to positive rad 2. So those are our bounds of integration. Sweet. Next piece we can fill in is the area. That means the area of the shaded region. And to find that area, we do an integral calculation. We pick x again from negative rad 2 to positive rad 2 and look at what is the height of the region at that particular x value. That means a difference of y big and y small. Good. Note that we can combine the 4 and the negative 2 to get 2. And I've done that here for a simplified integrand, 2 minus x squared. And when you compute that out, you get 8 rad 2 over 3. So that's the area of the green shaded region. Our formula requires that we multiply by the reciprocal of the area. So that's what we have in the red dotted box. Nice. Now it's just cleaning up. We can look at our integrand. That's a difference of squares. Opening things up, combining like terms. We'll have 16 combining with 4 to produce 12, 16 minus 4. And the other terms are from squaring the binomial. Excellent. Then it's a computation to evaluate the integral. When you do, you come up with the value inside the red dotted box. Quotient of 112 and 15 multiplying rad 2. Have that multiply with the reciprocal of area. Rad 2's cancel away. 
And then that simplifies to 14 over 5. So 14 over 5 is the y bar quantity. Yay! That computes the centroid. And then we found that the x coordinate of the centroid is 0 by symmetry. And the y coordinate is 14 over 5 by a computation. Nice. Thanks for watching.